in each of the four canonical gospels, a story, a narrative, was woven around Jesus' sayings. With the Gospel of Thomas, we have the sayings not wrapped in a context. These sayings are understood to be in a more pure, unadulterated form, passed along through oral tradition and eventually written down. To understand the writings or the speakings of another, we must enter that person's consciousness, adopt his or her mindset, look through his eyes at the world he describes, listen with his ears. Jesus often said, let those who have ears hear. Listening requires not imposing a pre-existing dogmatic framework <laughs> over what is being spoken, but allowing its imagery and its meaning to unfold on its own. Rather than jumping on a sentence with analytic fervor, we allow it to settle like a depth charge and to explode to reveal its meaning. This is the method I followed with each saying of Jesus in writing this commentary on the Gospel of Thomas. I sat quietly in the pre-dawn hours of the night and contemplated a particular saying, allowing images and understandings to form. Eventually, these imaginal formings began to solidify into sentence structures, translations from heartfelt imagery to English. I wrote each sentence as it formed. I then made small edits until I was satisfied that the sentences were as identical as possible to the images that formed from meditation on the saying. Something within clicked when that happened. I exhaled a sigh of completion. Here's the outcome. 